Putin's illegal occupation of Kyiv and the impending Chinese blockade of Taiwan has created a two-front national security crisis that requires more troops than the volunteer military can supply. I have received guidance from General Milley, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, that the recommended way forward will be to invoke the Selective Service Act, as is my authority as President. The first to be called in a sequence determined by national lottery will be men and women whose 20th birthday falls during calendar year 2023. Remember, you're not sending your sons and daughters to war. You're sending them to freedom. God bless our troops and God bless Ukraine. What we just played for you was a sneak preview, an AI, I don't wanna say recreation, but maybe a pre-creation, a pre-creation of President Biden designed and scripted by our producers here for the show of what could happen if President Biden were to declare and activate the Selective Service Act and begin drafting 20 year olds here in the United States. You would be the first to be drafted using national lottery. Do you understand the gravity of what we're talking about? Yep. Hey, Shalom, Akim, Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakatadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Nor is in the gospel broad, nor is in the gospel broad, left up the standard of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Um, hold up. Uh, uh, Salakia, see, um, Oh, man, shit, it's lucky, man. Damn, but what you see here was a deep fake. In fact, it looked real, okay? It looks like a real broadcast, but this is a deep fake. As Esau just pretty much explained, um, the realities of war, nuclear war, um, the tensions between Russia, America, China, North Korea, Iran, Israel, okay, Turkey, and those particular European allies uh, regarding the NATO and EU, has been pretty much at a uh, DEFCON level <laughs> on high, which DEFCON just goes into defense. But uh, basically, what happens is this is a deep fake. And um, he said this is like a pre deep fake because war is inevitable. And he mentioned selective service, which 18 to 25 was when we had the register. You come out of high school. Or your 18th birthday, you got to register for the selective service because they can, in fact, draft you into the military, worst case scenario. And we keep saying that it's possible they're going to bring back a draft. OK, um, I believe they did it in. Uh, fuck, not North Korea, I think North Korea. And I believe uh, what country was that? North Korea. And it was another country. I want to say the Ukraine or, or Russia, some degree, did something like a draft, but. I can't recall the particulars, so forgive me for that. But regardless of that, um, we're living in dire times, man. And your sons and your daughters, like the deep fake stated that, look, you're not going to fight a war. You're going to fight freedom. No. All wars are bankers' wars. You're fighting for the best interests of the elite bankers and to keep them rich and to keep the poor poor. Okay? You're fighting for international bankers that's, that's uh, uh, hell-bent on slaving humanity. Okay, because after every war, World War One, World War Two, the elites they got richer and richer. Okay, while the poor got poor and poor. So you're not fighting for a good cause. But you feeble brained Americans, man, you think so. All right, so I did some research where well, I looked up the Selective Service Act. It says Congress passed the Selective Service Act, which authorized the federal government to temporarily expand the military through conscription. It says the act eventually required all men between twenty one and forty five to register for military service, okay? So I believe that's still relevant to this day, but like I said, when we did it, it was 18. Now, I don't know if they went up, but they're not gonna go down, okay? Because you got 18 to 25, then you got 30-year-old vets, 35-year-old vets, and even 40-year-old, 45-year-old vets that's still somewhat able. But see, what's gonna happen is shit gonna get so out of hand in the Middle East, they're just gonna pretty much activate all the reserves. They don't give a damn if you're 50 years old. If you got any type of military experience or being a cop or whatever, then they're going to need you, period. And those of us <laughs> that's going to say to hell with them, then, of course, we know what happens. That's considered deserting or, you know, uh, insubordinate. And then they can do whatever they're going to do. Throw us in prison, you know. 
So it says, who must register with the selected service? Almost all men, 18 to 25. Oh, shit. It's lucky. I don't know the sleep demon coming out of nowhere. It says, almost all men, 18 to 25, who are U.S. citizens or immigrants living in the U.S. are required to register for the selective service. Citizens must register within 30 days of turning 18. Immigrants must register within 30 days of arriving in the U.S. Okay. So that's what happens. Uh, even women now can be drafted into the military. But I believe it was like the firstborn. Like if you was the second born, then they won't necessarily draft you. Now, if they need you, they could under certain circumstances. But let's just say if you had an 18 year old uh uh, brother and then you was like 23 they would draft you or if you die or if something happened you become disabled they'll move down and listen they'll draft your 18 year old brother all right but it says if required to register with selective service failure to register is a felony punishable by a fine up to 250,000 under five years imprisonment also a person who normally counsels aids or abets another to fail to comply with the registration uh, requirements is subject to the same penalty so <laughs> It's, you're going to be thrown into a war regardless. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, Slovakia. Damn. I don't know where the hell that's coming from? Slovakia. But anyway, um, this is the book of 2nd Edward 6. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 23. It says, And a trumpet should give a sound, which when every man hear it, they should suddenly be afraid. That's the sound of destruction. Okay. The sound of war. Okay. The war, the scripture says, Sama, the sound of war. OK, the trumpets of war and we're clearly in a time of war when all hell is getting ready to break loose. Like um, if I go to Google and I type in World War Three, let's see the searches. They say when they invaded Ukraine, the World War Three searches pretty much hit tops. All right. Uh, let's see here. It says what if World War Three starts tomorrow? Donald Trump promised to prevent World War Three very easily. You're right. That's how we know that the Lord ain't dealing with him. Because you clearly, World War Three is biblical. World War Three, spread awareness. World War Three soon. Boyfriend stops girl. Uh, you know all these crazy ass memes and shit. But regardless, this is one of the top sought out searches. But see, you people in the West, you don't believe that this is the case. Okay, you don't believe that this war is gonna make itself or make its way over to the West. Which this third world war is the war to end our wars is gonna end with the decimation of this society, okay, with nuclear missiles being totally shot on America, aka Babylon the Great. And honestly, I can't wait, man. I, I can't wait till this shit escalates, man. I can't wait to the, the the CBDC or the UBI, okay, aka or slash the MOTB is fully implemented. But by then, third world war should be announced anyway, because technically we're in it. OK, but we understand that it's not going to go nuclear until the chip is passed, you know, so therefore they need to hurry up and pass this chip because, you know, we want to get the hell up out of here. And, you know, what's so spiritual next year around Passover time, you're going to have a solar eclipse that's going to pretty much exile Babylon seven years ago. Like seven years ago, we had one that came in an opposite way, which was in totality. And then the next one, we're going to have a solar eclipse, which is going to totally exile Babylon the Great. Okay, that was down to seven years, six years ago. Time flew by. Okay, but hopefully that marks the end of the United States of America and the ushering of Yahweh Shai coming to get his elect. All right, because I'm sick and tired of you, fu this fucking place, man. I'm tired of you fucking women. I'm tired of you niggas. We just tired of all you, honestly speaking. We can't wait till every last one of you be destroyed. All right, and I'll say it nicely that way because you a fucking problem. All right, but uh, let's look up it this way. Uh, Total solar eclipse 2024. Me personally, you know, this, this, I, I believe that this is going to be a, a sign. You know, I mean, you don't have to quote me verbatim on it, but this is part of the signs. Monday, April 8th, 2024. Path of the eclipse. Okay, so it's going to pass through this part of the, uh, the north, east, and it's going to wake its way south. Okay, um, Will we be able to see it here in Kansas City? I mean, we should be able to. But the last one came across as an X. Total eclipse of the sun, April 8th. All right. Now, let's look at the one back in uh, 2007. They called it the American solar eclipse. 
okay and wow that's spirit that looked like the uh the hebrew word um when you look at it from the side uh, Yep, but that looked like the uh, the Hebrew word from the side. If you look at it, it looks like the Hebrew word ah. Okay, but despite you know that word, if you look at it, it creates a complete X across Babylon the Great. Okay, which is totally the structure for America. Lord's will, America be taken. The Lord's will, this place be taken out by then. You know, so we can finally get the kingdom. But we still got to go through the hour of temptation, the persecution. You know, we got to go through all that stuff. But um, this is Isaiah 34 and 1. It says, come ye, come near ye nations to hear and hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. It says, for the end of the nation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. OK, so that's the American military, the Russian military. All right, these various military powers that's on the earth. Okay, Yahawabashim, Yahawashai is against them all. Okay, and they're going to all be destroyed because the Lord is going to pretty much ambush them and set them up. Okay, because through the spirit and power, Yahawabashim, Yahawashai, man, hey, it's getting to that point. And it says here, um, and he utterly destroyed them and he have delivered them to the slaughter. And the slaughter is in the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is. The Hebrew word Yahweh Shapat, which means the Lord's judgment. Okay, the Lord is going to deliver these nations to the Middle East to fight World War Three. Okay, and it says that slain also should be casted out, and their stink should come up out of their carcasses, and all the mountains should be melted with their blood, which is your governments. Um, it says, and the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down, as the leaf falleth from the vine, and as a fig or a falling fig from the fig tree. Okay, which is going into the nuclear web, the nuclear war. When the scriptures say that um, a, a, a heavens roll together as a scroll, that represents a mushroom cloud. As a matter of fact, um, just look at it that way. Mushroom cloud. Check this out. This is what it's talking about. This is what Isaiah saw in the vision. As a scroll that looks like a scroll that's rolled together. All right, because he saw the destruction of these various nations and the destruction of Babylon the Great. Okay, and that's going to pretty much be a decimation of this society. You know, pretty much it will. And it says, for my sword should be bathed in heaven, but behold, it should come down upon Idumia, which is the Greek way of saying Esau, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Okay, so, hey, World War Three is damn near, is, is definitely inevitable. All right, so that deep fake, hey, that's going to have a lot of truth to it just in a short while because eventually they're going to have to announce another draft because they're not going to have the manpower and the people to really fight the war. Because if you look at the military now, it's full of momos and transmissions and women, okay, which is totally unprofitable. All right, I ain't back during the World War Two days when Esau had some type of uh, dignity, about, dignity about himself. No. Okay, he's totally got weak. That's why the scripture says this man's become as weak as we. OK, because when Esau is taken down, it's going to look like, oh, damn, how the hell did Esau go down? He was the powerhouse of the earth. But that's because the Lord has given him the power to rule. OK, uh, this is the book of uh, Revelation 16. And I'm going to start at 12. It says, and a sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates and the water thereof was dried up. And if you look at the river Euphrates, it's currently drying up. OK, it's pretty much drawn up. And it says here. That the way of the king of the east may be prepared. China, you know, uh, North Korea, you know, those nations, Russia, Turkey, all those nations coming against Babylon. And it says, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon, which the dragon represents this system or this devil of the Roman Empire. It says, and out of the mouth, the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet, for they are the spirit of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth, which is your military which is your, not your military, but your, your governments, your leaders, your, 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 your senators, your congressmen, your presidents, your elites. Okay, the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them, the whole world, <laughs> to gather them to the battle of that great day of the Most High Almighty. But behold, I come as a thief, blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments and we're watching. Okay, we're keeping our garments by watching and staying steadfast in the faith, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. 
and he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Okay, and a seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such it was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts, which is talking about America, and the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon came in remembrance before the Most High to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. And every island fled away, and mountains were not found. And there fell upon men a great hell out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And men blasphemed Yahweh because of the plague of the hell, for the plague there was exceedingly great. And that's going into those missiles. Okay. So um, anyway, I'm going to end it there. Giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And with that, Shalom and the Baba Ball.